why am I nervous? It, like, doesn't make sense to me. I'm, like, so nervous. I don't even... How do I... <laughs> this is awkward. Um, hi. This is what I look like. It's kind of already over. I don't... Anyways, I'm gonna answer some questions that you guys have about me. I only got two questions, which <laughs> it's okay, it's fine. My videos aren't really getting pushed out right now, so I don't really blame anybody. But other than the two questions, I've just kind of made up prompts that I thought you guys might be interested in learning about me. So let's get into it. On TikTok, I got one question and on YouTube Shorts, I got one question. So on TikTok, Cadence asked, what is your favorite part of crochet? Um, I'd say that my favorite part would be just, like, the ability to create. Like, I love creating things. I love putting my mind towards something that's not, like, anxiety and stress. I like being busy and I have, like, my hands cannot sit still. You'll probably see me, like, talking with my hands the entire video. Um, I love just being distracted and it's a conversation starter. Um, I love talking with older people about crochet, whether they crochet or they have in the past or they've always wanted to. Um, I think people are so interested in things they don't know. And I love getting asked about crochet, what I make, how I do it, how I learned. I mean, all of that is just so fun and it just, it brightens my day. On YouTube Shorts, I posted a video asking questions and um, Stitch626, which is a, com a frequent commenter on my videos and I'm so thankful, they asked what my favorite yarn is. So I have a lot of yarn. I have probably too much, not compared to all the other crocheters though. So I'm still proud of myself as of right now. Um, I don't know. I really like Big Twist acrylic and I also really like Karen One Pound. Um, I like Karen One Pound because it's cheap and it has a lot of yarn in it and I can get a lot of use out of it. But I feel like the color selection is kind of small. Big Twist I feel like has a really big selection of colors and I really like that. I have a lot of plush yarn because I market prep with plush. Um, they get, they're bigger and they're faster so it, it works better. Um, but I really love working with acrylic yarn even though it creates smaller items, I feel like I can pack more detail in, more color changes, stuff like that. So now onto the prompts that I created. Uh, so I said like simple ones, like favorite color. My favorite color is yellow, but I really, really, really love mint. Like a mint turquoise. I wear Western clothing, so I have a lot of turquoise in my outfits and on my belts, on my shoes. I love turquoise. Um, You'll probably end up seeing that a lot. Uh, I asked myself <laughs> what my favorite animals are. I can't just say that I have one favorite animal because I love animals. I love, love, love them. I really love dogs. I love horses. Um, I love cows. I think they're so cute. And I really just like, I love everything that breathes. I've owned bearded dragons almost my entire life. So... We've always had dogs in our houses, and we've always had bearded dragons. So I think it's pretty fun, and I just think that a house isn't a home without a pet. I love pets. My favorite crocheters, I have so many people that I watch. Um, Crochet by Kitten Girl, Crochet Grove, uh, Koozie Crafts, I think is how you pronounce it. <laughs> um, there's Kiss a Crochet. Karen Joy, I think is how you pronounce it. Karen or Karen. Um, and then I'm trying to think of other people. Uh, Jenna Phipps, Crochet by Jenna. Um, Refined Vibes, I love Refined Vibes. She's so amazing and she's super fun. If you don't follow her slash subscribe to her, you need to. She's super fun. Same with Crochet by Kitten Girl. They're so nice. And uh, Refined Vibes goes live all the time. So I'll link her and Crochet by Kitten Girl in my description. So if you want to follow them, you can. 
that's like a shameless promo for a couple of people that I really enjoy watching. My favorite music, I love listening to country music. You probably assume that when I told you that I would, I wear Western wear. Um, I really love Rainy Brook, which I actually use her songs in my videos. That's the song that you listen to for my intro and everything like that. That's Paintings by Rainy Brook. And it's really good. You should go stream it on Spotify or whatever you use. I'm sure it's on everything. I'm just saying. <laughs> but also, I really love Zach Bryan. Who else? I really love Tyler Childers, Lainey Wilson. And I'm kind of secretly thinking about starting to crochet some of my favorite celebrities. So let me know if you'd be interested in that. <laughs> I shouldn't tell you that, but I'm going to. Um, I don't really have anything else prompt-wise, so I guess I'll just kind of talk about myself. So, um, I just am very creative. I've drawn from a very young age. Like, I drew all the time, and I still, um, doodle, and I still take art classes, so I still do a lot of painting, and I do a lot of graphite work. I do a lot of shading. I draw very super realistic animals and humans. I'm I do often doodle portraits. I basically just do anything that keeps my hands busy. I like to pick up new hobbies all the time, but crochet is one of those things that's really just like stuck with me. I've really enjoyed building a community and have noticing that the community is so welcoming and open. Like it's not a competition. And if it is a competition, people get shut down really quick. And I love that. It's not a competition and it's genuinely just sharing yourself and your art and what you do and what you love to do. I love fiber art. I am glad I ventured into it. I'm so happy I did actually. I just am outstanding by the things that I can do now. And I even have roped my friends into it and my boyfriend loves my crochet. He is always complimenting me on it. It's pretty awesome. Like I think that it's created some really awesome opportunities for me. I sell patterns on Ribbler, which I'll link that also down below. Look at some of my patterns if you're interested. I really, my pride, my prize possession is definitely Sunny the Sunflower Boy. You can tell probably because it's my logo. I am just in love with sunflowers and I think they're absolutely beautiful. I can show you my biggest crochet project because I haven't given it to the person that ordered it yet. So let me get it real quick. You guys are gonna be amazed. It's it's huge. At least in my opinion, you probably see things crocheted bigger, but I think it is pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> this is Crochet by Kitten Girls pattern. It's a free one on her blog, her website. It's huge. Like, this is so cool, isn't it? I mean, it's kind of a little wonky, um, but right now I'm taking custom orders from family and people that live around me and know me personally. So one of my family members ordered this and isn't it just like insane? They also ordered a, I think it's a Dragonair, I believe is what it's called. So I'm going to be putting wiring in it and it's going to be able to like wrap around their neck. I think that'll be pretty cool. Like I'm pretty excited about it. But I don't really know what else to say. <laughs> I I just love art and I love sharing it and I love posting and I just love I love being here. <laughs> so so thankful that you guys watched, that you guys care to watch, that you guys now know what my face looks like. It's gonna make it a lot easier to film things. And you might even get a video more than once a month. Like <laughs> Maybe it won't just be the first Wednesday of the month anymore. I won't hold myself to that promise though because <laughs> I have no idea. Um, but I'd say that this is a pretty good video for only having two questions submitted. I'm not digging on anyone, by the way. You probably didn't see the video because it didn't really get pushed out. Like, I've, I've kind of been shadow banned a little bit, but it's okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for supporting and being really helpful in this whole process. I'm so thankful that you guys stuck around to the end of the video and I really hope that you guys enjoyed. I don't really know what else to say. Bye.